We're going to get started. I'm Holly, if we haven't met. Thanks for joining me at 7 a.m., especially when you could have had a nice little sleep in. We've got Matt Pilates this morning, guys, so we'll start nice and slow. I think 30 minutes we're going to start on our back. Hi, Catherine. Got the family there. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started on our back. I just want to make sure you guys can see me fully properly on that map. There we go. As you notice, guys, we're in a different studio this morning. All oh, right. We're going to start on our back just laying flat. We're going to start with glute bridges. So laying down, feet planted on the floor, hands down by your side, palms facing down, knees pointing out to the ceiling. Just start by placing your hands on your pelvis. Then you create a triangle between your, uh, your hip bone and your pubic bone, and you want to feel it nice and horizontal. That's going to find your correct pelvic placement. Once you've found that, hands down by your side, lengthen that tailbone down, slowly roll all the way up, lift the hips nice and high, little hold at the top, and then slowly roll it back down, upper back, middle back, lower back. So just nice and slow, you might like to lift those hands up to the ceiling, we'll lift the hips nice and high, squeeze it at the top, and slowly roll it down. So drawing your belly in, exhale, lift up nice and high, little hold, Inhale, lower down. Notice what your feet are doing in this as well. Let the entire sole of your foot planted on the floor as you lift those hips up or are they wobbling around? You want to have your toes, your heels, the outside of the foot in contact with the floor. Just slow lifting up. And then rolling back down. We're going to take five more here. So lifting up nice and slow. And roll it back down. We've got four more. Squeeze it up. And lower it down. Three. Lift up nice and high. Lower all the way down. Last two. We're going to hold our last one up. We'll lift it up. Roll all the way down. And then one more. We'll lift those hips all the way up. Hold there. Now just lift those hips down and up an inch. Little time pulse here. Got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squeeze at the top and slowly lower down. All right, guys, we'll do single leg now. So reach your right foot up into the ceiling. You can point your toes. You can have a flex, whatever you like. Hands planted down by the side. Same thing, working really hard not to let that right hip drop, lift the hips up, and then slowly peel it down. Exhale, slowly lift the hips up, and roll down. Sequentially through that spine, slowly peel, and roll all the way down. Let's go two more to see the leg. Roll all the way down, last one, lift the hips nice and high. Hold up, just wave your right leg down to the floor. Straight back up to the ceiling. Wave down and lift. Wave down and lift. Lower and lift. That's it, guys. Last five. Four. Three. Hold it in the air in two. Hold it in there. One. Little bit to those hips. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And roll down, let's switch sides straight away, left leg into the ceiling. And slowly roll the hips up. And roll it back down. Keep that left hip in line with your right. Slowly pull it up. And roll it down. Three more, lifting the hips in the eye and high. Try not to let that belly puff up. Last two, lift all the way up. And roll down, last one, we keep the hips nice and high. Hold there, raise the left leg down and lift. lower and lift. Lower it down, keep the hips squeezing up. You've got four. You're going to keep the legs nice and high in three. Ooh, it's like three, two. Hold it up, keep the hips down, that five. Four, three, two, one. And peel it down, relax those legs, give it a little shake out. All right, lengthen your legs out, down low in front of you, arms overhead, you're going to roll up. So arms lengthen out over your head, keep the ribs relaxed. Exhale, bring your hands back to the ceiling, then tuck your chin, slowly curl the chest all the way up, sit up nice and tall. 
hold over our thighs. Roll back up through the spine, sit up nice and tall, arms reach out in front. We're going to bend our elbows and we're going to hold ourselves up on our elbows behind us. So you keep your chest lifted, try not to slump in the elbows, lift out of them, legs long in front of you. Holding this here, keep your belly pulled in towards your spine. You're going to hold nice and still, reach the left arm forward and try not to let your weight rock into that right elbow, then interlace it back. Reach the right arm forward. Try not to let that weight drop into the left elbow. Place it back down. So let's go left arm reaches. Hold and down. Right arm reaches up. Hold it there. And lower one more each side. Left arm reaches up. And bring it back. Right arm out in front. Reach it nice and long. Place it back. We're going to go both arms. Try to let that body move. Reach it up. Hold, 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 and place the elbows back. And ready, three, two, one, both arms come up. Hold it there. Three, two, one, place the elbows back. Let's go three more, guys. So hold it there. Reach the arms up. Hold, three, two, one, two more. And three, two, one, reach, hold. Hold it there, elbows back down. Last one, we're gonna hold it up in three, two, one. Reach the arm, hold it there. Now the opposite arm goes up, up and touches the mat. So just switching it, switch, switch. Try to keep that curl in your belly. You're sitting back as far as you can. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach them out in front and roll all the way down. Arms overhead. Well done, guys. Nice big stretch up. We're going to roll up one more time. So arms overhead. Bring them up in front of the, to the ceiling. Start the two to roll all the way up. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to bring our legs into a butterfly shape in front of you and hold onto your ankles. Now just gently rock back with those sit bones. Let the feet come off the floor. Just holding that position, shoulders nice and open. Sitting up tall on the sit bone. Now we're going to tuck that tailbone down, roll down our spine, our legs go to the head, and sit back up into that boat position. That's it. So roll it back. So you can initiate the roll by lengthening the tailbone down, rocking off the sit bone, and rock it back. Sit up nice and tall. Rock it back. Try not to put those feet down. Add in a little advancement if you'd like, guys. After you roll back, sit up nice and tall, open the legs out to the split. Back in, rock it back, sit up nice and tall, open out. Rock it back. A further advancement is to keep the legs in your splits. So you rock back and sit up tall on oh, the sit row. Nice and wobbly. Rock it back and sit up. Hard to talk about this. Rock and sit up. Good, guys. Let's go for 10 seconds. Last six. We're going to hold ourselves up. That boat pose in five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. You might have your feet together. You might have them separated. Wherever you are, try and take your hands off. Hold it there. They might be out. We're holding here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good work, right, guys. All right, we're going to come onto our sides. We're going to do some side line glute work. So it doesn't matter which side you start on. I'm going to start laying on my right. We're going to stay propped up on our elbow to begin with. So long leg is long, top leg is long, hip is down long. Top hand on your hip or behind your head, whereas wherever is best for you. Then you're going to lift that leg up, lower it down. Lift and lower. You might prefer to come down onto your side. Entirely up to you guys. Just lift and lower. Lift and lower. Get that little squeeze, slow control down. Lift and lower. As you lower it down, it should just come down in line with your hips. So lift higher and lower. Lift and lower. That's it, guys. Lift it up. Stay lifted onto that right or left side of your body, whichever is closest to the mat. 
and squeeze, and squeeze. Raining hard outside, guys. And release. Let's go 10 more seconds. We're going to hold the heel nice and high. In five, four, three, two, one. Hold it nice and high. Just tiny little circles there on the wall. Or work on the screen. You guys are giving me your heels. Little tiny circles for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it still. Now draw the toes forward and paint the wall back. Draw it toes forward, paint the wall back. So you plan to flex forward, point, your feet flex back, flex. Point forward and flex back like a paintbrush, painting the wall in front of you. So just move it all the way out in line with the hip and extend it back. Try to get a little extra hip extension so you extend the legs further behind you without letting that body rock. So bring it all the way forward and back. Toes come forward. That hip should be feeling nice and yummy right now. That's it, bring it forward and back. Last 10 seconds, guys. We'll hold the leg out in front of us. In five, four, three, two, all the way in front. Flex your toes, toes point down to the floor, heel to the ceiling, tap it down, squeeze it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place it down, bring it into your bent leg. We're going to go into our plan. We squeeze the hips open, close it down. Squeezing it up, close it down. If ankles are separated, you open it out, close it down. Try not to let that top hip open. You just rotate from that the head of the femur, the top of the upper leg. Squeeze it open, bring it back down. That's it, guys. Squeeze it out. Lower it down. Get that little hold and low. Little squeeze and low. Squeeze it out. Good night, isn't it? Chilling out in a Tuesday morning. All right, guys, we're going to hold that leg open in five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg open now. Draw those circles on the ceiling for five, four, three, two, one. And release it down. We're staying on that side. You're going to place that underneath hand on the floor and you're going to come up into onto a side, half side plank. So that underneath knee is on the floor, so the top leg is lengthened and you're on your hand. Reach either your hand behind your head or up to the ceiling. Now you're going to plant that top foot into the floor. You're going to lift the bottom knee, tap it up to the top knee, place it down. You're working with the inside side, you tap the bottom knee up and place it back down. We'll lift it up. Squeeze and lower. Bring that bottom leg up and lower. That's it. Tap it up. Lower. Now you start to add that top leg. When the bottom leg goes down, you lift. Lower. So bottom leg taps down. Top leg lift. Lower. Tap down. Lift and lower. That's it. Lift it up. Squeeze the top leg. Ten more seconds. We're going to keep that bottom leg up to the top knee. In five, four, three, two, one. Place that top foot down. Hold that bottom leg up there. Hold it for me, guys, for five, four, three, two, one. Place it down. Lift that top leg. Extend the top arm over your head. Draw your knee to your elbow. Reach out long. Knee to elbow. We're getting that little side crunch. Knee to elbow. Reach, tap, reach, that's it. Try and bring that knee up to the elbow. More than the elbow coming to the knee. That's it, guys, 10 more seconds. Last little bit here, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach and lower, that's it. All right, guys. We're going to go straight over to the other side. So, lay yourself down, step inside again, you can stay propped up, or you can come all the way down, whatever feels more comfortable to you. Your time, your class. All right, lengthen that top leg down, squeeze and lower that top leg, lift it up, lower. That's it again, like bring that top hip down away from you, get that little squeeze, that glute that's doing the work. 
Good, guys. Squeeze it up. And lower. Again, making sure the leg is straight down in line with your hip as if you're standing. Lift and lower. Squeeze it up. Good, guys. Squeeze and lower. 10 more seconds. We're going to keep that hip nice, heel nice and high. Draw those little circles. In five, four, three, two, one. Draw tiny circles there. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Draw that leg out in front of you, then paint the wall back. So point, plant, flex forward, dorsal flex back. Point those toes forward, paint the wall back like it's a paintbrush. Come all the way out, lower back. As that top leg comes forward, Watch that that hip still stays lengthened down. It doesn't crunch up towards us or it doesn't roll forward. Draw it all the way out. Flex the heel back. Toes come forward. Flex it back. Last 10 seconds. We keep that leg out in front of us. In five, four, three, two, one. Leg out in front. Flex your foot. Toes point down. Heel to the ceiling. Tap it down. Lift it up. Four, five. Four, three, two, and one. Bend at the knee, guys. Just our clam work to finish off here. From it will get up. Squeeze the knee, open the ceiling, lower it down. Open that hip, close it down. Squeeze it open. That should feel nice and warm. And that outside of the hip there. That's it. Squeeze it up. Close it down. 10 more seconds here. We keep the knee open to the ceiling. We finish with those little circles. In five, four, three, two, one. Draw those tiny circles on the ceiling for me. Four, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Great work, guys. Come up onto that side now. The bottom hand is on the floor, bottom knee on the floor. Top hand either reaches up to the ceiling or behind the hip, whatever you prefer. Now we tap that bottom knee up, place it down. We just start with that bottom leg. Tap it up, place it down. Lift, use those inside thighs, squeeze it up. Now you can start to add that top leg if you like. So this is the top and lower. Bring the bottom leg in and lift. Work with the inside thighs, squeeze it up. Work in the obliques as well. Work with everything. Good. Tap, lower, lift. Last 10 seconds, we hold that bottom leg up. In five, four, three, two. Hug that bottom knee into your top for five, four, three, two, one. Place it down. Lift your top leg, extend your arm over your head. Knee to elbow, extend long. Knee to elbow, giving that little side crunch. Tap it in, reach it long. Extend that as long as you can make yourself and tap it in. Reach, tap, reach. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Go back, guys. Just take a little frog sit. So bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide. Just take a little fold forward there. Nice long spine with a nice stretch out through those glutes. All right. We're going to get up on our feet. A little bit of lunge work and then a bit more core. I'm going to step back so you guys can see me. All right, it doesn't matter which leg again you start with. I'm going to start with my right leg. I'm going to step forward into my lunge and then bring it back in. So step back forward, bring it back. Nice big step out. And bring it back. You might like to raise those arms overhead and bring it back in. Reach it forward. Nice big step. Try and take that back knee down. Let it just skim the floor. Doesn't need to touch. That's it, guys. And just check out your tracking there. Is your knee coming over your toe as you step forward? Reaching out nice and long. Bring it back in, pulling up from the spine, from the belly button, nice and tall there. Crowning the head, reaching back to the ceiling. We've got 10 more seconds. 
So you're going to hold that lunge down. Last five, four, three, two. Hold that lunge down. Now hinge forward. Stretch that back leg. Pull your back leg in. Tap it. Reach that long. Tap it in. Reach and circle those arms up and overhead. Tap it. Press it back. Keep lifting that belly up away from the thigh. Tap it in. Lengthen it out. Tap. Keep that front leg nice and bent. That's it, guys. All the way in your front leg. Tap it. Tap it in. Tap it back. In. Out. Tap it. Let's go. Last ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. We keep it long in five. Four. Three. Two. One. Keep it out behind you now. Just a little bit. Tap it down, lift it up. Tap your mouth like to put your hands in your hips so that's better for your balance. Lift, lower. You've got five, four, three, two, one. And bring it in. We're just going to challenge that balance now. Test it out after we've just done those lunges. So that foot that was just on the floor, keep it there. Back leg It's going to extend out behind you. Little airplane position. And come all the way up. So extend it out behind. And your balance. Airplane. And come all the way up. If you get a nice stretch through the back of the leg too. That's it, guys. So again, do nice and slow. Just tear that balance out. Come all the way up. Like gently. Let's go last couple of seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and last one, bring it all the way in. A little bit of squat work before we go to the second bar. We're gonna take a sumo squat. So a nice wide stance, wider than your hips. Toes pointing out, you just place your hands on your hips to start with. Now keep that chest lifted, bend those knees, lift all the way up. Start to work those inside thighs. Legs and tail going down, lift all the way up. I place my hands outside my head. My ears can sit just rest on the head, lower it down and all the way up. Lower it down and slowly lift. Good, so grabbing that weight through the heels and you lift up away from the floor. Then the knees, lift all the way up. We're going to add a little rotation here, guys. The next time you come down, you're going to hold it there. Elbow to me, bring it back to the center. Elbow to the knee, back to the center, lift all that. Try and bend upright as you possibly can. So when you go down to the side, your lats are flexing and extending. Lift all the way up. That's it. So come down low, hold side to side. Get that side bend. Just like we do on the floor with those side crunches, that same motion, closing the space between the wrist and the hips. That's it. Last 10 seconds. We're going to hold it down and just do those side tilts. In five, four, three, two, hold your squat down. Just your side tilts now, guys. Hold it. I know it starts to burn those inside thighs. Glute, side tilt for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold in the center, one little tiny pulses there in your squat for me, guys. Upper body is neutral. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift up. Go work. Give a little shake out. We're going to turn, do that second side for our lunges. So standing up nice and tall. Step forward, nice big lunge. Step it back in. So whichever leg you do first, make sure you do the other leg now. Reach it forward. Step back in. Nice open across the chest. Notice if your ribs are popping open when you come out, pull them in. Shorten that space between the ribs and the hips. Reach it long. Arm back in. Step it out. A 
I think after 10 more seconds, we hold that leg down. In five, four, three, two, hold your leg. Now hinge forward, tap that back foot in, reach it out, tap it, and back. So all your weight is in that front leg. Back, extend. Feet on the side, you want your hip, your, your, sorry, your shoulder, your knee and your feet toes to line up. Feel like a big bag from the side. Reach it out, in, tap it. Keep the spine nice and long. If you're starting to burn, or if not starting, or are you burning, guys? Last 10 seconds, we hold that back leg out. In six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out, you might put your hands on your hips. Just tap that back leg down, lift and tap. Lift, tap, lift it up, tap it down. You might find it one side, it's a little wobbly, wobblier than others. Tap, lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bring it in. We've got those little tests, guys, in our balance. So that same foot is still planted on the floor. Start nice and tall. Send that leg back behind you. Catch your aeroplane. Come all the way up. You might like to pick something to look at on the floor that's not moving. Send it out. Come all the way up. So just move it nice and slow. That's it. Nice, guys. Really slow. Find your balance. Come all the way up. Let's go three more. Lift. Last two. And last one. Lift it all the way up. Up, up all the way up. I said, guys, keep those legs a little shake out. We'll do a little bit of core pinch out before we stretch. I'm going to come to the back of my mat. Let's have this roll down and then we we'll walk all the way up to my plank and hold it nice and still. So nice long line to the top of the head, all the way down to the ankles. You can come on your knees if you need to, guys. Up to you. You're going to lift your back leg, knee to elbow, extend it back, break it down. Lift, knee to elbow, break it back. Down. If you're on your knees, guys, you can lift the leg behind. Knee to elbow. Extend. Place the knee back down. Lift. Knee to elbow. Extend. Behind. All the same. Just on the knee. Lift. Try and keep that body nice and still. Yeah, little the walk out there. Lift. Tap. Then. Back. Lift. Tap. Then. Back. Really lift your chest up away from the floor. Press out between those shoulder blades. I know gravity pulls us down, but bring it up. Keep that butt down nice and low, guys. Last 10 seconds. We're going to hold our plate. We're really just do some commandos. In five, four, three, two, one. Hold your plate. Now we're going to use our commandos. Walk down to our elbows. Up onto our hands. Down to elbows, up onto the hands. Try and place your hand where your elbow was. So we're not keeping the arms out in front of us, they go directly under our shoulders. Again, this can be done on your elbows or full plank, oh, sorry, on your knees or full plank. As you guys hold that body nice so you're almost there. Last little effort. Last 10 seconds. We're going to hold that elbow plank down in five, four, three, two, one. A little finish up. We hold our elbow plank. We're going to keep it 30 seconds. And we're going to, I call this the rotisserie. We're going to roll onto our back and back onto our front. We it for 30 seconds. And we come forward onto our side and onto our back and the other side like the rotisserie. We've got about a 15 seconds here before our plate. Hold on to it, guys. Last 10. 
I'm looking at my watch, but where I'm not making it up. Last five, four, three, two, one. Roll onto your side, doesn't matter which side. Tap up the ceiling or down. You can keep your knees bottom you down if you need to. We're just holding our side plank. 30 seconds. That's it, guys. Hold it there. Keep that hip lifted away from the floor. 15 seconds to go. Let me come onto our backs in a hollow hold. In 10. Last five, four, three, two, one. On your backs, keep your legs off the floor, arms long off the floor. Looks like a reverse plank. If you want to make it harder, reach the arms overhead. Let's get the 30 seconds. Hold it there, guys. Keep the legs long, they're just holding the floor. That lower back is pressed into the floor. 15 more seconds. Hold it there. Keep that chest lifted. You can do it, guys. We're on to the other side of that side, planking eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Second side of plank. 30 seconds, guys. We've almost completed the rope three. Hold it. 20 seconds to go. Last 15. We're going to finish the full rotation on our forearm, planking 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, back into your forearm. One jab, hold it there. Last little bit, guys, we've completed the full rotation. Last 20 seconds. Keep that butt low, lift out of those shoulders. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one, pop your knees down. Sit back into your child's pose, reach your arms forward, guys. Keep the shoulders nice and open, little rock. And then come forward, shoulders over your wrists, tap your toes, lift your heels back, your butt back, sorry, into a downward dog. Just a little tail out of your feet there. Let the backs of the legs open up, the shoulders open up. A little pen around. And then walk your feet all the way up into your hands. Hang forward for a moment. Let your shoulders shrug up to your ears. Little rock side to side. Take a little wriggle all the way up. Give those shoulders a nice big roll up. You guys, keep on stretching if you've got time, which I think we all have time at the moment. But I'm going to leave you there. Well done. Hope you guys feel nice and warm. I hope you feel good for the rest of the day.